Hi. Welcome. In this video, we are going to see how to integrate EDB Failover Manager, EFM, and PG Pool Load Balancer. EFM, used for automatic failover for high availability, and PG Pool used for horizontal read scalability. Since, both are not part of one product, we need to configure both separately and integrate it. EFM 3.2, introduces two load balancer hooks feature, which gives great flexibility to control other side of the tool during failover and switch over or standby database node failure. In this video, we going to see the action of integration. For configuration, and other details refer to the article posting. Here's the high-level integration architecture. To implement, first we need to configure asynchronous streaming replication between one master, and two standbys. Next, we need to configure EFM for automatic failover with one master, and two standbys. Remember, we need to set load balancer hook script in EFM configuration file, that will execute pgpool pcp commands from it, to update database node status and pgpool cluster. Now, configure pgpool load balancer with one master, and two standbys for horizontal read scalability. After configuring, Asynchronous Streaming Replication, EFM Failover Manager and PG Pool Load Balancer, we can allow application connections to database on PG Pool port 9999. Let's see in action. Let's see the EFM and PG Pool integration in action. For the clarity reason, I have opened multiple terminals on each node. Master. Standby 1. Standby 2. Red terminal split into two, one running simple script, connecting via PG Pool 9999 port, to execute writes and read statements, and second terminal executing, show PG Pool node status. A terminal, showing EFM, cluster status. A terminal, executing EFM commands to test switch over and fail ever. Now, Let's perform few tests with the integration we have configured. In this test, we are going to stop and resume one of the standby database node. EFM, recognizes database status and calls load balancer detach and attach hook scripts, to notify PG pool cluster. In this test, we are going to perform manual switchover with EFM command. The EFM command promotes one of the priority standby database node as new primary and calls load balancer hook script attach and attach to notify PG pool cluster.
In this test, we are going to perform manual failover with EFM command. The EFM command promotes one of the priority standby database node as new primary. It detaches the old primary node and attaches new primary node using load balancer detach and attach hook scripts to notify PG pool cluster. That's all. We have tested in this configuration, a manual switchover, failover and standby node stop and resume node. Hope you enjoyed it. Thank you for watching. For more details visit www.regalt.com.